Last time on our Reynoldsburg football series, Coach AJ has little time to tighten up his offense. In just three days, they'll face their toughest challenge yet. You talking about uh, Dalton's got to be back. So they, that, listen, listen, three tech. Well, hey. it wasn't necessarily a three. Let's back up one like more one. time. Okay, I told you. Every other coach on staff told you that these guys are going to come out. Now it's about how you respond. Reynoldsburg is close to making yet another close comeback in the fourth quarter, but the deciding three points scored earlier in the game would seal their fate and tarnish their undefeated record. But the coaches know that this means little to the rest of their season. You gotta get back in that winning mode. It's the winning attitude, okay? This is where we're gonna find out who's all in. At this point, we're here to work on what we do. It's time to tune up and get the kinks out that we have. We've taken you behind the scenes, in the locker room, and to Reynoldsburg football practices. This week we share the stories of people who helped the football team be successful in more indirect areas. Before Friday nights, players, coaches, and team staff are treated to a free meal. The providers and servers share with us the process of feeding the team every week, their community relationships, and why they volunteer. So I believe just providing a healthy meal for the kids, also just giving them that extra boost that they need, right? It also gives us an opportunity to just have that one-on-one, -on -one, because we love the boys. Um, having that one-on-one -on -one encourage them to have a good game. Um, but I, I think, you know, sometimes um, the kids just need that extra boost to give them getting, you know, through the day, um, getting them through that uh, football game. So. Say a little fuel. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. We're just trying to fuel them so they can go out here and play hard and play strong. Um, also, this provides them an excellent opportunity to really just collaborate together as a team um, with a meal uh, prior to the game. So it helps build more rapport. Appropriate hand count, we're able to approach the different um, vendors, local community or whatnot. So they are able to supply us because they are in the food business, we are not. So they are able to supply us exactly what we need. And I think it would be worthwhile to maybe highlight some of our yeah. vendors who donated yeah. if we can. Great idea. So we so we have Max and Irma's here in Reynoldsburg that have donated. Um, we also have uh, Chipotle uh, or 256 has donated as well the Reynoldsburg East Broad Street location. Um, Winking we had a wink Fazoli yeah, was today. So that's what our team enjoyed today. And then we had a Winking Lizard <laughs> Tavern. So, City Barbecue in Reynoldsburg. Pizza. Um, we had yes that's right we had Romeo's Pizza. So we the community has been so good um, as far as supporting the football program. They're just thankful that we even take the time to come out and feed them. They really appreciate us um, coming out, showing support, making sure they're fed, making sure if there's something that they need, um, we are really there to support them. They look forward to the game day meal and we look forward to the game day win. <laughs> With a full stomach, Reynoldsburg is off to this week's game. They're on the road and facing a 0-7 Grove City. Their biggest objective is working back from their loss to Gehanna and fixing the things they did wrong. Because like we said, any given night, I don't care if your record is 0-7, this is a divisional game. They know how to play us. We know how to play them. We see each other year in, year out. We tried to tell you that last week. I don't know what the problem was if it didn't come from our mouths to your brains, but understand tonight, this is a divisional opponent. Throw the record out. We're working on us. We're working on making sure we're blocking better up front, making sure that we're getting hands on people, that we're making tackles, that special teams are special. We are working on us. We have a mission tonight. Let's accomplish this mission.
Although Grove City denies Reynoldsburg a total shutdown, they quickly take over and never look back. Although their work for this week paid off in an overwhelming victory, the Raiders now focus on another big game. Pickerington Central is a powerhouse in the OCC, and along with Pickerington North are the Raiders' biggest rivals. Okay, hey fellas, this is this is this is the game we've been we've been practicing all that time for. This is the game that we've been getting up every every morning at at uh, on Saturday mornings at eight o'clock for, man. All right, let's go for it. All right, everybody's gonna be ready to give your best shot. We're gonna go for it, man. are very dedicated and have been since we started working out uh, after winter break this past year. It's been non-stop since then. There's no time off for the Raiders. The concentration goes from technical football skills and developing plays to strength training. Uh, Evan Bergenstein, strength conditioning coach from Reynoldsburg High School. I work with all the varsity sports, JV sports, freshman sports. Um, number one goal is injury prevention. From there, working on strength. Um, also, flexibility, endurance, overall just top speed, everything else. I spent a lot of time doing some internships with some well-known strength coaches. Um, worked at, at multiple high schools before this. Uh, a couple of certifications I have as well. Um, as you know, football is a combat sport. It's very abusive on the body, so uh, more of an emphasis placed on the, the neck, the upper traps area, also ACL prevention ankles, those kind of things. There's always injury prevention for sports, but football just takes its toll on the body a little bit more, so that's kind of what we go after in the beginning. After last night, and after every game, the team sees trainer Regina Hunter to smooth over any injuries they might have sustained. Regina is instrumental in keeping Reynoldsburg's best players and athletes off of an injury list and onto the field. Lots of ice bags, um, check injury checks after games, after practices, making sure that the kids are healthy for the most part. Um, dealing with my students, and I have a, a, a senior student from the Ohio State University, so teaching him, making sure he's getting a good learning experience, and then teaching high school interns. Um, I also started an athletic training club this school year, so doing that on Fridays is really cool so far. So a um, bunch of different aspects to my job and what I do pretty much every day. Um, there's a couple of different ones. I think education is the biggest one, um, especially for high school students. Um, so every high school kid kind of thinks they know it all. So just making sure that they understand um, the importance of hydration, nutrition, um, the importance of good technique when they're lifting, when they're playing their sport. Um, I think that's the biggest aspect. And then making sure you have the support of the coaches and that they're keeping their eyes open, that they kind of have your back when you tell a kid a certain thing, that they'll, they'll back you up and support you and make sure that that kid understands what I'm trying to say. After their confident win against Grove City and with the support of Reynoldsburg's various staff, the Raiders are ready to face their next challenge. Coach AJ has a simple yet important strategy to prepare for Friday. Yeah, you know, I'm preaching all year, mentally tough, physically tough. We have to be physically against a team like Big Central. Um, I'm talking about the, one of the best teams in the state, also in the nation. You cannot go in there being soft. You 